Hi guys, this is IP Foxy. Today we will show you how to set up IP Foxy proxy in Bit Browser. Let's get it. First, go to the IP Foxy website and click on the top right corner to sign up for an account. Users can get a free proxy by signing up, and existing users can log in directly. On the IP Foxy page, you can see that there are four proxy types for sale. New users can get three free proxies trial here. Let's talk about configuring static proxies and rotating proxies separately. If you have purchased a static proxy, the purchased IP information can be accessed from the left sidebar of the corresponding management page. Click on the proxy you want to set up, and the configuration information will pop up. Click one click copy. Of course you can just click the copy button next to the proxy information. Go to Bit Browser, click Add a new profile. After configuring the other parameters of the profile, slide to the proxy settings. Choose Custom, Proxy Type. The proxy type should be the same as the one you set up in ifoxy. Paste the proxy information you just copied in the host space, then click on the blank space, it will automatically pass the rest of the proxy parameters. Click Check to test proxy connectivity. Finally, click Confirm to complete the configuration. Open the profile you just created to use the proxy. Next, let's demonstrate the configuration of the rotating proxy. Go to the rotating proxy management page from the left sidebar. You can see the dynamic line account password will be displayed in the lower right corner. Copy them. Back to Bit Browser, click Setting on the left. Then click on Dynamic Proxy Epoxy. Fill in the account password you just copied below. Click Check Proxy and click Save when the connection is successful. Then you can go back to Browser Profiles, click Add Profile. After setting the other profile parameters, slide to the Proxy setting. Choose Type Epoxy Dynamic Proxy. Be sure to turn on the Use Global Settings switch. Then, you just need to select your desired region and fill in the dynamic refresh URL. Click Check Proxy. If successful, you can click Confirm to complete the configuration. Now open the profile to use the Epoxy proxies. That's it for today's tutorial. Feel free to follow me.